Today I'd like to show you different ways to speed up, slow down, and reverse your footage in Premiere Pro. The most common way to change the speed of a video in Premiere Pro is by right-clicking on the clip. Then over here we have speed slash duration, where we can adjust the playback speed. We can also reverse the video by checking this box, and then we have three types of interpolation. The one we recommend is optical flow. Hit OK to apply the changes. Another way of changing the speed is straight from the project window. For that, we'll change the view to list, then click twice on frame rate to order the clips. And here we have three clips at 50 frames per second. Normally, to slow them down, you would import them one by one into the timeline and adjust the speed using the first method. There's an easier way to do that, so let's select the clips that we want to apply changes to, then right-click, modify, and interpret footage. Here we can check this and select the new frame rate that we want for these clips. I want to slow them down to 0.5x speed, so I'll choose 25 frames per second. Now when I import the clips to the timeline, they are already slowed down. Another way to change the speed of a clip is by using the Rate Stretch tool. Add the new footage and let's imagine I want to speed this up so it ends right when the second clip starts. Normally, you would probably use the first method and try to guess the speed value so that it ends right where we want. There's no need to guess, Premiere has a tool for that, and it can be found here, it's called the Rate Stretch tool, and the shortcut for it is pressing R on your keyboard. With this, select the end of your clip and drag it to where you want it to end, and if we zoom in, we can see that the speed was changed automatically to the value between the parentheses. Let's play the video to see the changes. Another way to adjust the speed is with time remapping. This is something that pro users prefer. For that, we have to make the block with the footage taller. Let me also make the timeline bigger so you can see everything better. Again, enlarge the clip vertically, right click, go to show clip keyframes, then time remapping and speed. Now we can drag this line up and down to adjust the speed of the clip. If we hold command, the cursor allows us to add points to the time remapping. You can click between points to adjust the speed in that particular area. The length of the clip is automatically changed too. Additionally, if we click at the top, we can split these points to make the transition progressive. And lastly, once these anchor points show up, we can select them and move them left and right to smooth out the transition even more. And after applying all these changes, let's play the clip to check out the results. Now that you've learned this, don't miss the video on the screen that YouTube is recommending just for you. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.